morning Ascent Kids or afternoon or evening, whenever you watch Ascent Kids, we're so glad you do it. We are on a fourth week of being thankful and showing praise to God. So last week I told you I was thankful for my family. Well, this week I'm thankful for my friend Cassie who helps me film these every single week. She does all the cool little graphics and makes me look super good. So you guys should be thankful for her too because she's what makes these videos so fun. If it were just me, it would be a little boring. So today, verse four from Psalm 100, the Psalm that we've been going through this whole month
Okay, you guys, so we're in Psalm 100. Remember, this was a book written by a guy named David, and he was a king, and he was a songwriter, he was a shepherd. So last week, we learned that he used the phrase, God is our shepherd, and he guides us in a pasture and keeps us safe. So that's one analogy that he used. So now he's giving us another picture of God's great love for us and why we should praise him and be thankful. So let me read it to you because it's so cool. It says, Psalm 100, verse four, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Okay, so David who wrote this was a king at some point. He's referring to God as being royalty also. When you picture enter his gates with thanksgiving, I like to picture this big, beautiful castle and I get to go and see the king and then enter his courts with praise. Okay, we've all seen Frozen. So picture their castle. You enter the gates and you open up into this beautiful courtyard and then he's there. You get to see God and you get to praise him because we already know that God has created us. He protects us and he gives us everything we need. But now we know that God is also our king. How cool is that? So we will enter his gates with thanksgiving. We will praise him in his courts and give thanks in his name because of all of the wonderful things that he's done. So God is our king and he created us and he protects us and loves us. That is totally something to be thankful for. So let's say it one more time because this verse is so cool. Psalm 104. I'm gonna read it slow so you can really listen and picture it. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. We get to praise God, the King who created everything. That is something I'm thankful for. Do you ever think about what you're thankful for? Well, you should. When we remind ourselves of all the things we are thankful for, great things come to us. On this episode of Rocket Kids, we talk about that and I give you 10 things I am thankful for right now. I'm Aspen and let's get this started. Being thankful is important. We can be thankful for our parents, our family, and our home. Being thankful is also called gratitude. It takes practice. When we can be grateful for the things in our lives, even the little things, we can begin to change the way we think. We can shift our thoughts away from what we think we are lacking to what we have in abundance. Yeah, we start to see how awesome everything is and how great life can be. Did you know that gratitude leads to happiness? Who doesn't like happiness? I know I do. So here are 10 things, big and small, I am grateful for right now. Trees. Yeah, trees. They give us oxygen to breathe, and when we breathe, we live. And living is a great thing. They bloom in the spring and make wonderful colors in the fall. Trees. Cake. Cake is good. It means it's your birthday, a special occasion, or maybe you're having cake just to have cake. All I know is cake is so good. Emojis. We can communicate with words, symbols, hand gestures, and facial expression, but nothing is as much fun as emojis. Sleep. There is nothing better than cozying up under the covers. I'm snuggled all tight. My hands have pulled the covers up under my chin. My head is resting on my favorite pillow. My mind thinks about all the awesome things that happened in my day. Then, off I go. <sighs> sleepy time. This leads to waking up. And that's next on my list, mornings. Some people have a hard time getting up in the morning, but we should be grateful that we have the chance to do amazing things each and every day. So get up and go do something awesome. Speaking of awesome, ice cream. What's not to like about ice cream? I go to a place where you can mix your flavors and add everything from sprinkles to gummy bears. Who wouldn't be thankful for gummy bears on ice cream? Vacations. What's not to love about vacations? You get to go places, 
see things you've never seen before, spend time with your family, relax, have fun, make memories, vacations. Good stuff. Kittens, they're funny, cuddly, and playful. If you've ever been around a kitten, you know what I'm talking about. Enough said, kittens are good. Nice people. Thank you, nice people. Thank you for not being mean. Let's all work to be a little nicer. And last but not least, high fives. Why high fives? We give high fives when something is going great or we did something extraordinary. And you need two people to high five. So you are sharing this awesome moment with someone else. This makes high fiving fun and I am grateful for high fives. So that's my list of 10 things big and small I am grateful for right now. Remember, gratitude takes practice. So make it a habit of thinking about all the things you are grateful for. What are you grateful for right now? Let us know by commenting on this video. We would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share so we can keep bringing you awesome videos. I'm Aspen, this is Rocket Kids, and remember to always be your best self. That's it for another great Ascent Kids Sunday. We are so glad that you came. I'm so thankful for you. And I'm really thankful to God that we get to still be together, even if it's on the computer or the TV or your mom's phone, whatever it might be. I am so thankful. We'll see you guys next week for our last week on being thankful. Bye guys. <laughs>